Mike Ashley has owned Newcastle for eight years. He's never done an interview until now. The Newcastle owner with David Craig. Mike, thanks very much for joining us on Sky Sports. First and foremost, I've got to ask you just how disappointed are you to arrive here today and find Newcastle in this situation? I can't have really imagined it from uh, Christmas. I uh, probably didn't anticipate we would be anywhere near the situation. So, obviously, after the last sort of couple of weeks, I'm still a little bit shocked by uh, where we find ourselves today. The fans want to know who's responsible. In your opinion, is it collective responsibility or does it stop at your door? My door. The second question to that is, what will you do if the worst happens to this football club today and it falls into the championship, Mike? If you're talking about investing in the club, I will continue the policy of investing in the football club. Will you invest enough to make sure it comes back at the first attempt to the Premier League? Yes, if, the, if, you're, if there is such a thing, if you're able to guarantee that, I would like to say I could guarantee that, that investment, but obviously the results is not something that I can... If the best happens and you stay in the Premier League today, what's your plan for the club? Well, we, it, on the only positive, I think, we've got the club on a very sound financial footing. So we are able to spend relatively and punch above our weight now with the current financial situation the club finds itself in. If you hadn't come into this club when you did and cleared the debt, where do you think it would be? Uh, financially not as strong, but, that, but that, unfortunately I'm going to add to that 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 isn't really good enough. So it's no good having the horse and cart scenario and we may have the cart financially, but we now need to bolt the horse on and we're going to. What's your ambition for the club? It's now going to be definitely to win something. And by the way, I shan't be selling it until I do. Can we just be clear on that? Because there's been so much rumour whether you might, might not. The club is not for sale. Not at any price. And by the way, when I say win something, if we ever get in a position that we get a Champions League place, that also qualifies as winning sack. What's your message to the fans today ahead of this game? Today, we don't need to be unlucky. Not today. But from this day forward, we'll definitely be making our own luck. And finally, Mike, there are obviously one or two things to be sorted out come the end of the season. Can we expect you and your advisers to be acting on that fairly imminently with regards to appointments of managers and such like? Well, on that basis, it's Lee Charnley and the football board that make those decisions, as it was Derek Lambas who brought in Alan Pardew. So I will not be picking the next manager. It's not what I do. My job is to make sure they have the maximum amount of financial resources and it's their job to get the best pound for pound value out of those resources. And to be very clear, you're here to stay and you want to make this club successful. To be categorically clear, I'm not going anywhere until we win something. Mike, we wish you well. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So, Graham, your reaction to that? He should have done that years ago. I think he's come across really well there. I think he's shown a bit of passion. Um, it might not be what the majority here want to hear, that he's, he's going to stay here and he's not, he's not selling us a club for any price. But I think, I think he should have had that, that, com that interview years ago and he would have got a lot of these people on side. I think that's a very positive interview he's given there. Does that answer questions for you, Jamie? Because you often talked about their ambition. He showed ambition there. I agree with Graeme to say maybe he should be more proactive in, in speaking publicly about the club. But let's not get carried away and load the chairman because he's done an interview. I mean, he, he's done an interview and said certain things. He said, from now, we're going to start looking for a trophy. What about the day he first come in? I'm going to start, it, it, by the sounds, if they stay up, he's going to have a little go on the transfer market. But why wait this long? Why wait to the situation that you find yourself in? Again, without been... going into the any great detail, did he not have to bail him out on day one and stick mm. a load of money in up front? And maybe, I mean, you're talking to, you're talking about one of the most successful businessmen in our country, someone who knows what he's doing in business. And he wouldn't be the first businessman to come into football and get it totally wrong. But it would appear that it's slowly, slowly to catch the monkey. And it would appear that he stuck a lot of money in on day one and he's, and he's gradually getting to where he wants to be, where he's yeah, going to generate. I, I, and he might put his hand in his pocket. I've had a few dealings with Mike Cash. I've met him a few times and I've always found him a decent guy. Now, I'm sure the natives are not happy with him up here, obviously. 
But this is a club that's not won anything in 46 years. He's not run the club for 46 years. Graham managed here. This has been, and I'm fairly so for a lot of the, a lot of the fans here. It's been a bit of a circus for a long time. So they need when to you do get... a lot better. It's not, you can't just blame Terence. Just say, say it's Mike Ashley, the only reason they've not won a trophy in 46 years. We can all assume Jimmy because gone. Mike Ashley's given an interview on the TV. Well done. I think he's come not, across well. I know, but what I'm saying is, it's like everything's okay because he's done an interview. I mean, l l last year, it's, it's just weird. It's actions. Last year he says goodbye, he doesn't bring no one in. It's happy to, for the club to just float. What about supporters who buy tickets? Jamie's right, they haven't won for, for so long. That's not all down to Mike Ashley. And these supporters don't think, expect to win a trophy every season. Of course they don't. But as a supporter, you want hope and belief that the players, the manager, the people at the top of the club I've got that same ambition that something could happen. He's talking about but, it now. He's been here five years. But exactly, that's, that's the point I'm trying to make. Five years is not a long time in his world. He's trying to build a business that will be standalone, wipe its own nose, and, and he may stick his money in going further down the line. You know, Newcastle United, since the turn, Newcastle, and between Newcastle and Sunderland, this is about the North East. I worked here. This is a difficult place to work in the North East, as difficult as anywhere. I've been at Galatasaray where it's full on, Benfica where it's full on, and our old club Liverpool, where they give you a, they give you a better chance than anyone and all the jobs I've had. You're only ever one game away from a crisis here, one game away from the roof caving in. Between Sunderland and Newcastle, they have had 24 managers since the turn of the century. If you go back to another footballing mad city in the north, Liverpool, they've had, I think it's eight managers in the same period of time. Now, if ever a team should have got angry about not having success, or success, both teams would be Everton and Liverpool. This team have not won anything for over 40 odd years, near 50 years. They need stability. The crowd needs to calm down. What they have to do, in my opinion, is say, there's your manager for the next five years. No matter what happens, there's your manager. Get behind him and stick behind him, because I ain't changing him. And stick behind him. I always felt that Mike Ashley, they needed someone like Mike Ashley, someone from outside this area to come in and be a, an owner from down the motorway. Mm. Because if you live in the city, the, 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 the mood of the phone-ins, the mood of the local press, the, the hostility towards this club from certain people in the press, it's all about winding them up. It's all about getting this support, calling for people's heads at the first sign of trouble. That's what this football club's been about in the past. And for them to sort out, they have to take a deep breath, these supporters. Graham, we'll have, have to take to, a pause there. have to take a deep breath. We will take a pause there. I'm sure we will come back to this later. It was fascinating to hear from Mike Ashley.